Good day everyone, this is Sir Dan Apostol. In this video, we are going to discuss the Midline Theorem. Midline Theorem states that the segment whose endpoints are the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long. So meaning, meron daw tayo ditong triangle. For example, we have triangle ABC. Then, yung point B and point E, itong point D and point E, ay midpoint of segment AB and AC. So respectively, itong uh, point D, midpoint yan ng AB, and yung point E, midpoint yan ng AC. So meaning, pag uh, pinagdugtong natin or kinunik natin yung point E to point D, D uh, makakabuo yan ng isang segment, which is the mid-segment. So, ito daw mid-segment na to ay parallel to BC. So, yung segment DE ay parallel to segment or side BC. And yung midpoint D, hinahati niya yung side AB into two equal parts. Yung AD and BD. So, AD and BD are congruent. Kung ano yung sukat ng AD, yun rin ang sukat ng BD. And yung midpoint E, hinahati niya yung AC or side AC into two equal parts. AE and EC or CE. So they are congruent. Next is, uh, this segment is kalahati daw ng BC. So bakit kaya kalahati ng BC yung DE? Because if we extend itong DE, then i-coconnect natin yung point C to the extension ng DE, makakabuo tayo dyan ng point, ng point F. So makikita natin na makakabuo tayo ng parallelogram. This uh, DE and EF ay congruent. So meaning kung congruent yan, pag in natin yan, That is the measurement of DF. And in the property of parallelogram, yung DF and BC ay opposite sides. So they, therefore, they are congruent. So yung DE, kalahati ng DF yan. So therefore, that is also kalahati or half ng BC. So DE is equal to one half BC. Then let us apply the midline theorem in solving problems. So let's take this example number one. In triangle SUG, A and R are midpoints of SG or side SG and SU respectively. So ito daw uh, triangle SUG, yung side SG ay may midpoint na A. And yung side SU, ang midpoint niya ay R. Then, meron tayong mid-segment na AR. So, let us complete this statement. Letter A, SA is congruent to, so this uh, part is congruent to AG. Okay, or GA. Kasi nga, yung midpoint, inahati niya yung SG into two equal parts. Next, AR is equal to one half of So, yung AR equal daw ng one half ng ano. So, yung uh, AI, AR parallel yan sa GU. So, meaning, yung AR ay kalahati ng GU. Letter C, if AR is 12, etong AR is 12, then GU is, so according to the theorem nga, that AR is one half of GU. So, meaning, kung one half yung AR, that is 12, So, para makuha yung GU, we are going to double this AR. So, i-multiply lang natin sa 2. That is 24. And letter D, if SU is 36, SU, itong buong side na to, ay 36, then what is the measurement of UR? Yung point or midpoint R, hinahati niya yung SU sa two equal parts, which are SR and UR. So, meaning, yung UR kalahati ng SU. So, 36 kalahati ng 36, that is 
letter E. If GU is equal to 42, then AR is equal to, so yung GU daw ay 42. Again, yung AR ay kalahati ng GU. So, meaning, kalahati ng 42, that is 21. Number 2. In triangle ACH, L and E are midpoints of AC and HC respectively. So, ito daw point L is uh, the midpoint of side AC and itong point E is the midpoint of side CH or H. C. Then, pag kinunag natin itong L and E, point L and E, meron tayong mid-segment na LE. So, yung value daw ng LE ay 3x minus 2. And, yung side AH ay 9x minus 13. Itong side na to and side na to. So, according to the mid-lane theorem, itong LE ay kalahati ng AH. So, meaning we can use this equation. Yung LE is equal to 1 half kalahati ng AH. Then, substitute the values to the equation. So, ang LE natin ay 3x minus 2 is equal to 1 half times AH which is 9x minus 13. Then, solve for the value of x. So, para mo solve yung value of x, para i-eliminate natin yung 1 half. Okay? So, i-multiply natin yung both side of the equation by 2. Then, distributive property of multiplication, 2 times 3x that is... 6x, then 2 times minus 2, or negative 2, that is minus 4, or my, uh, negative 4, is equal to, then 1 half times 2, that is 1. So, matitira na lang yung 9x minus 13. Then, combine like terms, transpose yung 9x to the left side and yung minus 4 to the right side. So, magiging 6x minus 9x is equal to 4 minus 13. 6x minus 9x, that is negative 3x. 4 minus 13, that is negative 9. Then, divide both sides by negative 3. So, negative 3x divided by negative 3, that is x. And negative 9 divided by negative 3, that is 3. So, x is 3. Now, let us find the value of Le since we have x. So, kunin lang natin yung ating given. What, uh, this is Le is equal to 3x minus 2. Then, substitute the value of x. So, that is 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 times 3, 9 minus 2. So, Le is equal to 7. Then, let us find AH. So, again, kunin natin yung given. Then, substitute the value of x. 9 times 3 minus 13. 9 times 3, 27, minus 13, that is 14. So, AH is equal to 14. Kung mapansin natin, yung value ng uh, AH ay 14. Then, yung value ng LE ay 7. So, kalahati ng AH ay LE. Number 3. In triangle BTS, A, B, and C are midpoints. So, itong A, itong B, itong C ay midpoints ng BT, TS, and SB eh, respectively. So, itong uh, point A, midpoint siya ng side BT. Itong point B, midpoint siya ng side TS. Itong point C, midpoint siya ng side SB. Now, let us find the perimeter of triangle ABC. Yung triangle na nabuo ng mga mid-segment. Ito yung triangle na naka-inscribe. Okay, paano natin makukuha yung perimeter niyan? So, first, let us uh, find the values of side AB, side BC, and side AC. So, paano yun? By applying the theorem. So, first, let us uh, identify the yung parallel, li uh, parallel side na itong BT. Okay, alin ba yung parallel side ng BT? So, yung BT ay 12. So, in this uh, example, ang parallel side nyan yung side CB. So, kung parallel side sila, according to the theorem, ng midline theorem, yung side CB ay kalahati ng side BT. So, kung 12 yung BT, therefore, yung CB natin ay 6. Then, next, meron na tayong side CB. 
kunin naman natin yung another side. So, eto muna. Ano ang parallel side ng side PS? So, etong side AC. So, kung parallel sila, therefore, yung uh, 18 yung TS natin. Kung 18 yan, kalahati yan ay side AC. So, therefore, side AC ay 9. Then, meron na tayong side AC. Last side is side AB. So, kunin natin yung parallel side ng side BS, which is side AB. Kung 10 yung BS natin, kalahati yan, that is 5. So, AB is equal to 5. Meron na tayong uh, measurement ng sides AB, BC, and AC. So, pa makukuha na natin yung perimeter. So, to solve for the perimeter, we are going to add the sides, yung measurement ng sides. So, perimeter is equal to the measurement of side CB, measurement of side AC, and measurement of side AB. So, yung CB natin ay 6, yung AC natin ay 9, and yung AB natin ay 5. So, 6 plus 9 plus 5, that is 20 units. Number 4. Given triangle DAN and DAN is an isosceles triangle, if AL is equal to 2Y minus 1 and TN is equal to Y plus 5, what is the value of Y, AL, and TN? So in this problem, ito daw triangle DAN ay isosceles triangle. So meaning, meron siyang dalawang sides na equal. In this problem, ang equal dyan ay yung AD side AD and side AN. Eh, ang given natin ay side AL and side TN. Paano natin makukuha yung Y, AL, and TN? So, since ito ay isosceles triangle, yung AD ay equal to AN. So, meaning, etong AD na hati sa equal parts, which are AL and DL. And itong AN na hati sa two equal parts which are AT and TN. Since equal yung AD and AN, therefore yung AL is also equal. So we can equate AL and TN. That is 2Y minus Y, a 1, is equal to Y plus 5. Then solve for Y, transpose minus 1 to the right side and Y to the left side. So, magiging 2y minus y is equal to 5 plus 1. 2y minus y is y and 5 plus 1, that is 6. So, y is equal to 6. Then, let us solve for the value of al. Al is equal to 2y minus 1. Substitute the value of y. So, magiging 2 times 6 minus 1. 2 times 6, that is 12 minus 1. Al is equal to 11. And solve for the value of Tn. So Tn is equal to y plus 5. Then substitute the value of y, that is 6 plus 5. Tn is equal to 11. So kung makapansin natin, yung Al ay 11 and Tn ay, Tn ay 11, they are equal. I hope natuto tayo on how to apply the midline theorem in solving problems. Thank you for watching this video. See you on our next upload.